Hi, hello. Hi, my name's Mandy. I'm the resuscitation team leader today. I'm the registrar on call. I don't think we've all met before. Can you just introduce yourselves and your provider status, please? Hi, Mandy. My name's Keith. I'm the resource officer today and I'm an ALS provider. Keith, brilliant, thanks. I'm Yanni and I'm the F2 today and I'm an ALS provider. Yanni, brilliant, thanks. And I'm the anaesthetic SPR on call. My name's Isabel. Fantastic. Are you an ALS provider, Isabel? An instructor. Brilliant. Lovely. Okay. So, if we just allocate roles then, I think, let's go for airway. Great. Yeah. Um, let's go for Keith. Um, are you happy to scribe Absolutely. and manage the defibrillation should needed? Yeah. Um, that would be great. And then, Yanni, can you do cannulation? Yeah, sure. Bloods, fluids. Yeah. Um, let's also go for swapping in and out with um, chest compressions okay. as well. Okay. Brilliant. Right. Thank you. Well, I'll see you later, guys. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bernard? Bernard, are you all right? Can I have some help, please? Bernard, what's going on? Can, I, can you put out a double two double two call and ask for the adult resuscitation team and bring back the resuscitation trolley? Okay, the resuscitation trolley behind the door. You can take over CPR yes. for me, I'm going to count you in. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Can we carry on with 32 on the bag valve mask with the oxygen yeah. on? I'm going to attach the defib pad to carry on with that CPR. In a minute, I'm just going to ask you to pause while I have a look at the rhythm. Okay, can you just pause CPR? That's a shockable rhythm. Carry on CPR again. I'm going to charge the defibrillator. Can we take the oxygen away? Clear. Clear. Carry on with that CPR. Clear. I'm clear. Okay, stand clear. Shocking now. Carry on CPR. I'm just going to move the bed. Keep going with those chest compressions. Okay, it's the bed sorted. Bill, my name's Mandy, oh, I'm the hello, resuscitation Mandy. team leader. What's happening? Hello, this is Bernard. Um, he was admitted here with chest pain chest and he's found collapsed. He was in cardiac arrest. We've given him one okay. shock with the, with the defib. So we're about a minute in? We're about a minute in, yeah. Okay, thank you. Right, so we've got good quality chest compressions going off, 30 to 2. Hi, Isabella, I need to join us. Can you please take over the airway management, please? Thank you. And we've got Keith. Excellent. Defibrillation. Keith, we're about a minute in. If you can just check the timings for me, please. He's had one shock already. Bill, can you get me the patient's we'll notes, yeah. please? 20 seconds until the next two minutes. 20 seconds till we're coming in. So at that point, Amita, I'd like you and Yanni to swap over yeah. within the rhythm check, okay? So we're going to swap over at that point. And Keith, I'm going to hand over to you to deliver the shock. Absolutely. We're at two minutes now. Stop CPR, please. Looking at the monitor, that's a shockable rhythm. Straight back on the chest, please. Over to you, Keith. Lovely. I'm going to charge the defibrillator and I'm not going to shock yet. Remove the oxygen and everybody else set back. Charging. Head is clear. Bed space clear. A meter. In a second, I'm going to ask you to stand clear so I can deliver the shock. Yep. And then I'm going to ask you to immediately start restart CPR. Are you happy with that? Yep. Stand clear. Shocking now. Restart CPR. Thank you. Okay, so we're in a shockable rhythm and that was the second shock delivered. Okay, so have we got those notes coming? Yanni, okay. please could you put up a 500 mil saline for that? Okay. Can you also take me some blood through vena puncture? I'd like an FBC, a UNE, a venous blood gas and a glucose, please. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Bill. That's lovely. Okay, so this gentleman came in. You said it was a chest pain that he'd got. Um, we, can we get a definitive airway in with this chap now, please? Yeah, sure. Let me know when that's done, please, Isabel. So with the history, I'm really thinking thromboembolic is most likely to be our most probable cause, but let's just investigate the others while we're at that. Temperature-wise, Yanni, what does he feel like? It feels warm to touch. Feels warm to touch. Okay, so thinking, uh, Keith, about ruling out the H's and T's, unlikely to be um, hypothermia. Um, hypoxia, we've got the tube going in. We're going to connect that to 15 litres of oxygen. Uh, no overt signs beforehand. His sats earlier looked okay on the chart. Fluids are up, thank you. That's, that's lovely. Andy, the tube is in and I've checked the position on auscultation. 
end tidal CO2 is uh, 2.3. 2.3, so we've got a good ETCO2 for this, so I would um, like asynchronous chest compressions, please. So continuous chest compressions. Can we support his ventilation, please, to 10 breaths a minute? So we've got the bloods off. We're moving through the H's and T's, Keith. 20 seconds until the next two minutes. 20 seconds to the next two minutes, okay. Drugs, we need to have some drugs ready, please, in case I'd like a milligram of adrenaline, Yanni, and 300 milligrams of amiodrone preparing. When we get to the next point, Amita, I'd like you to swap with Bill when we do the rhythm check uh, to manage the CPR. And Keith, I'm going to hand over to you for defibrillation. We're at two minutes now. Okay, stop CPR, please. Looking at the monitor, we're in a shockable rhythm. I'd like you to deliver a shock. Straight back on the chest, please. Keith, I'd like you to deliver that shock. We will continue doing CPR. I'm going to charge your defibrillator, but I'm not going to shock you. Leave the oxygen connected as a sealed circuit. Charging, the head is clear, the, best, the bed space is clear. Bill, when the defib is charged, yeah. I'm going to ask you to stand clear to deliver the shock, and then going to ask you to recommence CPR immediately. Are you happy okay. with that? Yeah. Bill, stand clear, please. Shocking now. Restart CPR. Third shock. Third shock delivered. We need to give some drugs. So we need to think about a milligram of adrenaline. What is the untidal CO2 doing? It's around two. So let's give a milligram of adrenaline, please, IV, followed by 300 milligrams of amiodrone, if you can let me know when that's done, please. Still thinking chest pain. Toxins. I'll have a look through his drug chart. Okay, he's had aspirin, he's had ondansetron, no surprises on the drug chart. I'm, I'm thinking of ruling out the toxins. Adrenaline is given. Adrenaline's in, Keith. Amiodrone's going in. Thinking about potentially a pneumothorax, could you have a listen to the chest, please, Isabel? Trachea is central. And I can hear air entry on both sides. I don't think it's a pneumothorax. So tension pneumothorax, if we can exclude that, please, on the T's. Amiodrone given. Amiodrone's given. Got blood gas. The blood gas results, thank you. So looking at the blood results, we've got a potassium and a glucose all within normal range. If you could give that to our anaesthetist, please. So I'm thinking hypo-hyperkalemia is unlikely. Hypoxia, um, we've got 15 litres going through there, Isabel. 15 litres going through, there was no respiratory deterioration we're aware of beforehand. Okay, so I'm still thinking it's really, really likely to be uh, that. The other, the other chest one we should exclude would be a cardiac tamponade. So can we, um, we've thought about history, can we please order a, a focused cardiac ultrasound, please? Oh, Lord, I want someone to do that for you. Thank you. Bill, good chest compressions we've got occurring there. 20 seconds now until the next two minutes is up. So when we get to the next swap, please, Bill, I'd like you to swap with Yanni. Yanni, okay. if you could take over at the rhythm check, please. Are we still happy at the head end? Okay, and I'm going to ask for um, Keith, you to manage the defibrillation. We're at two minutes now. Okay, two minutes, stop CPR. Looking at the monitor, we've got something compatible with life there. Is there a pulse? I can't feel a pulse. Straight back on the chest, please. Okay, so we've moved to the non-shockable side of the algorithm. We gave the adrenaline in the last um, cycle, so we're not going to give it this time, but I'd like that preparing ready for the next cycle, if at all possible. His end tidal CO2 has just come up to 5.2. Is there a pulse? I can feel a weak pulse, and I think he's trying to make some respiratory effort. Okay, let's have off the chest, please. Support ventilation, please, up to 10 breaths a minute. Bill, can you do mm -hmm. me a full A to E assessment, please? Yep. Also a chest x-ray and a 12 lead ECG. Okay, Yanni, what I'd really like is for you to contact the family. Okay. We're going to have to let the relatives know. Ask them to come in. Yes, Thank you. Yes. That's great. OK. Um, I'm going to need to do some writing. Can I have the paperwork from, from yourself, please, Keith? I'm going to speak to the intensive care team and the cardiology team as well. Great. We've got some spontaneous circulation. We're doing a full reassessment. OK, great work, team. Thank you very much.